Okay, hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check a uh, kit from Miniard. It is modded in 135 scale and copies BMR1, it's a late modification with KMT7. You can see them both on the box art and we are going to check it closer. So first of all here packaging is standard for mini art, here you can see comparison with my hand. It's quite a big box I would say and it's also heavy so be sure um, to keep it in mind if you order it from somewhere, I mean via shipping service for example. As you can see the top cover is quite thin, it can be bent easily. Here we have some information about the kit and then on the other side we have three marking options but we will cover them a bit later. Now I would like to open it, it's a top opening box by the way. And here is what we have inside. So all frames are packed into the same plastic bag and as you can see we will have to cut through it. It is quite tight packaging so I would rather check everything before purchase because you can get damaged parts and then it will be quite funny time. We have also assembly menu on the bottom, we will check it a bit later. I would like to start with plastic of course. So just give me a second. Um, as I say, it's a sealed plastic bag, so I'm going to cut through it and we'll take a closer look. In the meantime, let me remind you that you can support us financially. It is done quite easily by pressing the donate button on our website. And of course you will be the one who will decide how much we will get for new photo and video equipment. Okay, so here we remove all plastic frames. So, on the top we had this small plastic sprue in the tiny plastic bag, so again I will need scissors in order to open it. Just give me a second. As you can see we have also decal sheet here. Okay. So, here we have tiny decal sheet. As you remember there are three marking options, so I guess those symbols are more than enough in order to have a nice result in the, on your model. Next we have two absolute identical plastic frames, so we are going to check on the one. As you can see here we have various periscopes which will be used on this vehicle and they look quite nice. So here I don't have any uh, issues with these parts and I hope it will be easy to apply them. Of course masks are not included so you will have to do it with your own hands, but otherwise everything looks fine. Okay. Next we have small envelope with mini art logo, let's open it. Here we have, well, so we have um, small P thread which is unpainted and also this tiny plastic bag with metal chain. So this metal chain is supplied out of the box, it's a standard bonus. And that's really cool because you won't have to get it separately, you won't have to assemble it. You get it out of the box for the price you paid for the kit. Let's zoom out a bit. Okay, now we are going to start with grey plastic sprues. So here we have the first one. This one is dedicated to various uh, hull elements and also here you can see turret parts. And again molding quality is really great. As you can guess you have to combine the separate panels all together. And that's why I would recommend to be careful with this alignment because you can get easily a uh, raw alignment even though Miniart provides special tabs which should help you with proper positioning of those parts together. Next we have this plastic sprue. Here we have various sketches and also external parts for various storage boxes. Let's zoom in a bit. Here you can see it. Again great molding quality and I think the only thing you will have to use here is the plastic saw because plastic cutters are usually damaging this plastic type. So that's why it's better to use the saw, not the cutters. Next we have another white plastic sprue. This one comes with this log and also we have various separately molded hatches. These thin parts on several attachment points, that's not really cool. I mean, you have to be extra careful while separating it. So maybe if it is possible I would rather replace it with metal wire in order to get a bit more realistic result. And of course it will speed up the assembly process. Next we have suspension elements. So here is this small sprue, nothing special I would say. Here from another side you can see that we have some guiding 
pins which should help you with alignment. Next we have one, two, three, four. So four, five, six, six plastic sprues which are providing us the same type of parts, so here you can see them. These are road wheels and of course these two halves will have to be combined together, but molding quality seems to be fine and of course uh, the fact that we get plastic parts is better than, for example, um, some other options, for example some manufacturers combine plastic with vinyl, because we have here the rubber section, so that's why it is better to have plastic instead of vinyl. Okay. Next we have this narrow sprue with small parts, nothing special. Again, four sprues of the same type. So I guess these ones will be used for the KMT, so I will show you only one. Here we have large rollers. These are molded out of plastic, obviously. And they look quite fine. We reviewed one of the KMT sets which are sold separately. So basically you get it here with BMR together in one box. And that's really cool because you can combine them and get what you saw on the box art. Next we have those bars for drive sprockets. Two sprues of the same type. Another type of sprue which comes with road wheels. There are four of them as you can see. Of course it would be better to have all those molded on the same large frame but mini art usually provides it like this. Here we have suspension arms again they are coming on four similar um, plastic frames molding quality is the same so there are no questions whatsoever another plastic sprue with road wheels so I guess we have five of this type okay. then we have three more plastic sprues with those tiny elements as you can see these are really small parts they are smaller than my fingertips so maybe you would have to use tweezers in order to apply them on your vehicle. Next we have two absolute identical frames. Here they are, again some parts for the lower hull section. And again great molding quality, so nothing to complain about. Next we have wide plastic sprue. This one comes with various external elements and panels. For example here you can see the front mud guards, here we have engine deck cover, also side shelves and etc etc. Again molding quality looks great, touching points are thin enough in order to be carefully separated without damaging the part, but still I advise to use plastic sole with those, uh, with those parts. Next we have again three more plastic sprues like this, so nothing I would say unusual here. That's really a huge set of tiny sprues which will have to be, um, I would say, stored somewhere so that you want to use, for example, stuff like this. Because these are really small frames and parts are also quite tiny, so you have to be careful in order to keep everything in place and to keep everything, I would say, more or less organized, because otherwise it will be a mess. The same happens with interior keys from Minior. Because you open the box and there are plenty of tiny sprues. And that's not cool, I mean, it's, I would say, adds uh, com complicity or difficulty to work with such plastic because you have a really huge amount of spruce, not the parts but spruce. We are all fine with a big amount of parts but a big amount of spruce is something different. Okay, next we have another 
frames with drive sprockets. So here they are. Obviously these two halves will have to be combined together, but otherwise it's not a difficult process. So I guess you will be able to do this. Next we have thin plastic sprues with the same parts for the road wheels and handles. Also here we have the towing cables, these are provided as a plastic parts, which is really cool I think, but still some professional modelers would replace it with metal wire for extra detailing. It will be up to you obviously. But still it's good to see that Minior provides at least some. Next we have small plastic frames with various handles and thin frames. Okay. Those ones I'm not sure, I guess they will be used for KMT. So as you can see we have a pair of sprues of the similar type. Next we have thin sprues, again for KMT 7. Here we have two more drive sprockets. I'm not sure if they all will be used on this vehicle. So we have to consult the assembly manual in order to understand which type will be actually employed on this vehicle. Next we have separate frame for KMT. As you can see these are these large uh, parts which should be combined together and then placed in the front of the vehicle. Here you can see them from the other side. So we have here recessed um, edges which will help you with guiding those panels into the right spot. Next we have tracks. So these are separate track links. And that's really cool because instead of vinyl parts, Minyar decided to get this um, into the box. Of course, this will be a tedious assembly procedure because you have to combine those links one by one. We have here separate pins, by the way, and here you have track links. And there is no template for the assembly of those, so you have to do mm, it all with your own hands. And it's not such a funny process, to be honest. Next we have here last grey plastic sprue. This one is dedicated again to hull parts and lower hull section should be glued out of separate panels as well. Mm, overall it looks completely fine. Here you can see it from another side and from my experience with mini art kits in 135 scale uh, you shouldn't be worried that we have for example here one bottom plate and two side panels. It should be really easy to combine them. And Usually, well, I would say, our overall alignment is completely fine as well. Here we have assembly manual. This one is printed in form of large brochure. We have short features list. There is no parts count anymore, by the way. Uh, here we have two marking options. So one comes from Afghanistan 80s. Here we have another one, Afghanistan late 80s. Next we go on with parts map. And assembly process starts with lower hull section. Then we go on, just let me close the lenses a bit so that it won't be over wide, <laughs> too wide. Uh, so here we continue with uh, the superstructure, as you can see it should be built out of separate panels as well. Next we install various suspension parts, here we have various hatches, engine deck. Here we continue with uh, the main gun, let's say. It should be installed as a turret on the top. Next. We continue with various storage boxes. Here we install the road wheels. We assemble tracks. So 91 tracks for each track link. Here we continue with front mud guards. They should be installed separately. And that might be a good opportunity to copy some um, weathering or damage on your vehicle. Some modelers do this. They just remove the front mud guard. Here we install side armor from both sides obviously. Here we have the towing cable and for towing cable you have to use your own metal wire. Uh, here we work on tiny P bits. So those are various handles and loops. Here we start to assemble the KMT7. As you can see that will be a kit on its own. That's why it's sold separately. 
but here we install it on the vehicle in order to get a complete appearance so it's 80 steps in total and next we have cars chart and here we have the third Moroccan option it comes from Afghanistan 80s late 80s as well and here on the last page we have pictures of the finished vehicle in the in one of the Moroccan options so as I said this kit is already available you can get it on Modelimax website of course I will be happy to hear your opinion here in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to press the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for watching and bye